Hi and welcome to part two of our seascape painting um, of Anthony Gormley's statues um, at Crosby Beach. So we've, uh, we've allowed the sky to dry now and I've just um, taken out the pencil line of a horizon and I have started doing the beach which I did video, but unfortunately we ran out of space on my phone, so we, the girls have just uh, tinkered with that a bit and released some space, so um, that's why I'm a little bit further forward. Anyway, let's get going. So what I've done is I've just put a little bit of Payne's Grey across the front of the painting. And all I'm doing is just getting a little bit of Payne's Grey on my brush, and I'm just sweeping really lightly across, like this. And can you see as, as I'm sweeping, I'm just getting all these little bits of white showing through, so I'm not covering the whole of the page. And it's just like the sun is just reflecting down onto the beach. So what I'm going to do is just, re just very, very lightly do this and build it up and build it up with the idea that we've got more, we've got darker colours at the front of the page and lighter colours towards the back. Um, and that will just help us with our perspective. So I've put a little bit of cobalt blue there. So all the colours we put in the sky, we're going to put in into our beach. So just gliding the, the brush very lightly across and leaving some of these white bits of the paper showing, just like um, just like sun reflecting on the beach because the tide's out. Apparently, when the tide is in at Crosby Beach, I've never been when it's been in. The um, the statues are submerged up to their necks in water so when you do go if you haven't been you can see you know how the, the statues have been affected by the tide and some of them are you know have fallen to one side and um or are covered in sand up to the knees it's just so beautiful you know just just a statement on life isn't it the ebbs and flows of life so I've got getting some other colours in now, I'm going to go with a little bit of um, yellow ochre. We want it to be the sort of dirted colours, so let's just put a flash of it across here. There, you see how I'm doing it sort of stronger at the sides, like that. Just almost scrubbing it along. Okay. I've just left that little bit of white there, so I'm just going to dirty that up a bit. So I'm just going to get a little bit of blue in onto that, just a little bit there. And then maybe a bit more Payne's Grey, or I could put some indigo in. So I'm just, just building up really slowly, so it's dark, darker at the sides as well. Just hugging that horizon. So keep, you know, don't just blindly launch into it. Keep stopping, looking back. Is the light shining in the right places? Do you need to fill in more? Do you need other colours in? You know, just, just assess it all the time. Just going to put a little bit more blue in there. Maybe go with a little bit of our um, burnt sienna as well here. Because remember the burnt sienna and the blue make a lovely grey colour anyway. Just going to soften that bit off there. I just feel that's got a bit heavy. So yeah, just, just lightly and just keep building up and building up. Don't, don't have the expectation that you're going to do it all in one go. Are you alright there, Lou? <laughs> yeah. You've got an aching arm. No, I just nearly fell over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't fall over, darling. Come round to this side of me. That'll be easy for me to get to the next. I've just got a little bit more yellow ochre now onto this side because we're, we're a lot more sort of sunny on this side, aren't we? So let's try and get 
reflect some of that in there. There, it's starting to come together now. I just want to just dirty that side up a little bit, it's just a bit too fresh. Just a little bit of Payne's Grey in there, or you could add a little bit of indigo. I mean, you won't, you know, obviously yellow and blue make green, and you will get that if it was a fresher yellow, but because it's such a dirty yellow anyway, isn't it? Um, yellow ochre, you should be okay, really. And if, if it does go a bit green, just add some, um, you can just add a little bit of um, Payne's Grey to it anyway. I'm just gonna clean that up because I'm not happy with that little bit, just to remove that. There, that's better. Okay. So, just going to put a little bit, I just feel like it just needs a little bit more at the front. So just a tiniest bit of paint on your brush and not much water so you get this dry scraping across like that. So I think that looks pretty lovely actually. I might just put a little bit more blue in. Just, just a little bit more blue here. Okay, so we are going to let that dry now and then we can start <clears throat> adding our statues in and our final bits of the uh, bits of the painting. We can put a few birds in. So just there, uh, just looking all the time at you know how it looks. I'm just gonna add a little bit more depth of colour at the front. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Payne's Grey and Indigo there. <clears throat> so that's it. So that's the uh, end of video two. And I will see you back again on video three. Thank you.